Something has gone horribly wrong on the International Space Station. Astronaut Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore, who were sent on an 8-day mission, have been stuck for the last two months. And there is no hope for their return for a very long time. It all started on June 5th, when Boeing's brand new Starliner spacecraft took off from the Cape Canaveral Space Force Station with two astronauts. Soon after the launch, the astronauts started facing problems. When they detected a helium leak inside the capsule where the astronauts sit. But the Boeing and NASA managers were confident. They thought that this leak wouldn't cause much trouble and the astronauts would be able to dock at the International Space Station without any problems. So the mission continued. Little did they know, by the time the rocket took off and reached the orbit, three additional leaks were found inside the capsule. But the astronauts did not freak out as they are specially trained for these kinds of situations. They thought that once we are docked, we would be able to figure out these leaks and fix them before they return to Earth. So the mission just continued. And by the time they reached the International Space Station, some other very serious problems started appearing. When the crew reached the space station and tried docking with the ISS, Five of the 28 thrusters stopped working. These thrusters are very important because ISS is not just sitting there in space. It is moving at a speed of 8 km per second, 400 km above the surface of Earth. So the astronauts, once they reach there, they have to align their capsule with the ISS and then try docking with it. And to align their capsule, they need those thrusters. Once again, the astronauts did not lose their cool. They actively began working on the thrusters, trying to fix them, because if they cannot get them fixed, they cannot dock, and if they cannot dock, they are stuck. On the top of everything that is happening in the real time, the helium that is leaking from the capsule is used to pressurize the fuel lines of those 28 thrusters. And if there isn't enough helium in the capsule to pressurize those fuel lines really push the fuel towards the thrusters, the thrusters won't work. So we have a very serious situation here in space. You can only imagine what the astronauts are going through at this point. So after about one hour of actively working on the thrusters, the astronauts were able to revive four of the five dead thrusters. By then, the Starliner had passed its first docking opportunity and both the ISS and the capsule had made a complete circle around the Earth. After reviving four of the five dead thrusters, the astronauts fired up the 27 thrusters and began moving towards the ISS. And just before you knew, they successfully docked. This is the image when Starliner's Sunita Williams and Butch Wilmore entered ISS safely. As you can see, the astronauts are very happy to have finally docked with the ISS and entered it safely. But what they do not know is that their problems have just begun. After NASA and Boeing engineers did a thorough investigation of the capsule, they found out that due to all the leaks that was happening inside the capsule, the capsule is no longer safe for human use. Because if they tried to enter the Earth's atmosphere in that capsule, it could literally break apart in space as they are trying to land on Earth. The crew docked on ISS on 6th June and it's been over two months since then they are simply stuck in space. So what's next? What is NASA's plan to bring them back to Earth? Well, there is one hope. SpaceX Crew Dragon spacecraft has four seats and it was supposed to launch on August 18th with four astronauts. Now due to this failure, NASA has delayed its launch. So what's NASA planning to do is that instead of sending four astronauts, it will send only two astronauts in the Crew Dragon spacecraft. And when these two astronauts complete their mission, they are going to return on this Crew Dragon spacecraft in February 2025. So the initial eight day mission has become eight months of horror for these astronauts. So I hope you liked this video. Do not forget to slap the like button and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.